working on a design for a gearbox cover for a Precision Matthews PM833 and a Grizzly Geo 768. And it's gonna be for belt conversions. I'm making a few different versions. Single pulley, dual pulley, timing pulley, drive belt. So we're using Gibbs cam and it's pretty decent to work with. And then we're using NC file to load up the program. So we want to hit execute. So while that's loading up, we have pulley assembly here. This is using the, uh, this is one of the ways, I'm making three different kits as I mentioned. This is one of the ways uh, I'll have them made available. And it uses basically a standard uh, taper fit that you can just buy from Grizzly or somebody for $40, $50. And I like this setup because it uses the larger bearings. So here, here's the bearings that'll go on there. This is what's in both the Grizzly and the Precision Matthews. This is what I'm going to be using. This is the size bearing that Enco would use. And uh, I've had to replace these smaller ones with the gear driven box. And by the time you add a, a power draw bar and other features, having a heavier duty bearing is a, is a good idea. I highly recommend it. So we have both that and then we have a taper lock. pulley set. So this is an 8 rib. I don't know if I'll make them 8 rib anymore. I'll probably go with the micro V and a, and a 6 rib. And then I'm going to be making a timing belt in 8M, 8 millimeter. That's 20 millimeter wide. Let's go see how this machining works here. Right. So, we're cruising pretty fast. This, this machine will machine up to 400 inch a minute. It'll wrap at about 2,000. Do some torcoidal, if I'm saying that properly. The word I don't speak up very much, but most of you know what that is. That's where it's clearing and it's an adaptive clearing tactic where it's going back and forth. It's especially useful when you're taking deep cuts. As you can see, this is just light cut. We can crank the speed up. We're hitting about 450. one of the feet might be just a little out of alignment on this machine. I can feel that shake. You can see it in your camera as well.
got to take that out of the cam so I'm just cleaning the air there. Not a huge deal. Top side, there's going to be a couple of rails and an upper plate that attach, and I put uh, the holes in it for vision for pneumatic cylinders. So if you use them with 90 millimeters, if you're going to use larger cylinders, I have an extra set of holes that will sit outside that, and you'll have to make a plate for that. It feels nice. It's flat, that's what counts, right? So, if you can imagine, there'll be a rail, the motor I'm out back here. And uh, I can't wait to show you the next step and uh, what it looks like when it's finished. Look forward to uh, more videos and hope that you come by and take a peek. Thanks.